Here's a question for all of you. If our brain is a computer, who controls the brain? Now, I know many of you have thought about something like this throughout your lifetime. What fascinates me is that we control our body, our thoughts, and our choice of action. But 100% of our body is made up of atoms which are unconscious matter. At the cellular level, our cells die and regenerate all the time. So I am not the same person as I was when I was 10 years old. But why do I still remember what I have been through at that age? Even though my body changes, I still feel like myself. When we die, our body is only seen as flesh, but when we are alive, the body and organs all have meaning. With this knowledge, and by using our logic, we would conclude that there is something there controlling this clump of atoms known as the human body. Some like to say that our emotions that we feel are the release of chemicals in our brain, but then we should ask, what gives the brain the signal to release those chemicals? In the religion of Islam and in many other faiths, the belief that there is a soul reaches certainty, because there are things things that we feel and imagine that we can't explain in language. For example, I can see the color red, but how would I explain the color red to someone? This ego that we have inside of us allows us to understand and function as a society. There are a lot of fundamental things in life that if we don't believe will lead to society being destroyed like morality and logic. Without these, the way we function as humans would be destroyed. The feeling when you hurt someone or you do something secretly and you have a bad feeling in your gut about it, these traits come implanted in us and somebody without them is seen as an outcast. What does this all mean though? It means that something inside of us is controlling this beautifully designed body of ours. That thing is self-aware and innately knows the difference between right or wrong. Let's not get this wrong though. Science is an amazing tool that allows us to study the world around us and know how things function, which also most of the time leaves us in awe of how everything works as a system, like it has been designed. But science has its limit. It can explain to you how your brain dopamine affects your mood, but it can't explain reason. You can help all the scientists in the world come up to you and they will never be able to find out what it's like for you to feel happy or sad using all the tools of science that they have today. By using this logic that we have implanted in us, we can use this as a tool to understand things that science can't prove, like our feelings and the question why. We are all put on this earth for a reason because everything that we study around us has reason for its existence. For example, the tree taking carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen for living creatures to breathe, the moon controlling the ocean's waves, and the sun giving life to all that exists on our planet with its energy. There is not one thing that we have studied that doesn't have reason for its existence. So who are these atheists to say that we are just clumps of atoms and there is no reason for anything? It just exists and that's that? They seem to use their logic for everything else but their own existence. If that isn't illogical, I don't know what is. The soul exists because we know it exists. We feel it, the voice in our head, the moment we raise our hand or we talk to someone and the feelings that nobody else sees but us all lead to believe that this soul is the thing that's controlling our body and without it our body would be useless. This is why the belief in a creator is also logical because the order we see around us is amazing. The discoveries we make about our planet and the universe only amazes us more. All of it in harmony with itself from the atomic level to the size of the universe and beyond we can come to reasoning that all of this is just evidence left here for us to find how great and powerful this creator is. Let us go out and feel the power by joining nature and meditating around the animals, plants, and the universe outside. Then is when we will find the greatness and come to logical and rational conclusion that we don't have to fear because we know that whoever had the power to create all of this has the power to take care of us, guide us, and forgive us for our shortcomings. We all have the feeling inside of us that we want to live forever, but the only infinite being I know is the creator Allah. So why not submit to him, to the only source of infinite power that can give you infinity?